Hi, I'm Beck Breitling. I'm a five-star event rider based in Paso Robles, California. I've been sponsored by Riding Warehouse for about four years now, and I'm really excited to be part of the team. So my journey to make it to this point, uh, like all riders at this level, is pretty long. Um, and I started in Australia and had quite a lot of success as a young rider and then learned all about the sport that, yeah, it takes a little bit more than just having one good horse. So uh, I moved myself to America and started a business here. And I now uh, ride, compete, uh, teach clinics and uh, basically study the sport spend a lot of time trying to get better at what I'm doing and uh, so yeah it's a long journey. People ask me a lot of the time how do you get funding at the upper levels. I think the biggest uh, trouble for a lot of riders is how do you start with horses that aren't actually that well produced. So your goal is to be better at riding horses of any level. You have to take the ride on any horse you're offered and really make the best of that horse. Even if it doesn't have a ton of ability or a ton of scope or perhaps even show the most aptitude towards uh, the sport that you're in, um, you really have to show that horse off to the best of your ability. And if you do that, then people really do notice you. And then you're given the opportunity to sort of climb your way towards riding horses of better caliber, which is sort of where I am a little bit now. And everyone says, oh, your horse is always so nice. And I think, oh, that's not what I rode for a very long time. So I think that's a really big part of it. What do I look for in a horse? That is an excellent question. Uh, I think when it comes to eventing, the biggest part is really to have a super brain. The sport now is really based on uh, really being able to get the best performance out of the horse in all three phases and trainability. Um, I think, as you'll see later, one of the horses I ride perhaps doesn't have the best confirmation, but is probably one of the best event horses I've ever ridden. So I think I like to put a lot more focus on the heart and the brain more so than what they look like when they walk out of the stall. <laughs> Keeping event horses fit and healthy is uh, quite a big uh, job, I would say, uh, mainly because we have three phases that we're trying to prepare them for and making sure that we're not overworking one phase more than the other and not neglecting one phase more than the other. So I'm privileged enough to base myself at a very lovely high-end facility. Uh, so I have the opportunity to ride out, do a lot of trot sets, get my horses out on uneven ground. I think it's really important that they don't just work in arenas with really perfect footing. Um, obviously for us, the feed, every horse has a specialized uh, sort of set of food that they have to eat, some supplements, that kind of thing. But ultimately, it's really good training. They have to really work properly. They love to get out and work. I like to work mine at least six days a week. Um, even if some days are just trail rides around, getting them comfortable around the cross country jumps for us is a really big thing. So mentally they stay relaxed, um, but also keeping them busy. Um, obviously we have a lot of great hills around here. So that's obviously a big part of it for the eventing. Um, but obviously for us spending our days training dressage, getting enough time to show jump and get them out and go cross country. My best advice for conquering fear is to really understand and arm yourself with knowledge and tools. I think fear comes from knowing that you don't have the appropriate skill set to perhaps go out and tackle what you're doing. And I think we have to, when we feel nervous and feel fear, you have to go back and think about the things that you know you can control that you practice every day and you basically are just moving that from your home environment into a competition environment. And by falling back on that training and, and those skills really help you go out and say, okay, I know how to tackle this question and break it down methodically instead of being emotional, which is easy to say. My advice to beginner riders is definitely to keep it fun. I think it's hard sometimes to not get swept up in how far you want to progress and how quick you want to progress and make sure that you keep making it really fun because ultimately we really just do the best in the sport when we're still having fun. 
My favorite part of being a part of the Riding Warehouse team is how diverse the group is. I love nothing more than going onto social media and seeing the endurance riders, the western riders, and obviously I assume they think the same about us great eventers. Um, but I think the diversity of the team is really what appeals to everybody. Thanks everyone for watching and if you have any questions please comment below and we'd love to reach out and answer anything you want to know.